Hey YouTube, welcome back. I have got two TCBM slash purchases videos that I'm going to be shooting today or tonight anyways, getting a little bit started a little bit earlier tonight on my sale videos that I do Friday nights and then my TCBMs what I got throughout the week. So without further ado, this one is going to be really, really excited. I'm pretty excited for this, um, the set. So, uh, we'll see how far I get before I decide to stop. We'll go ahead and go with the TCBMs first, and then we'll get what I bought and some of the other stuff near the end, so please stick around. This is from Ampharos. It says, note plus cards inside. So note, I'll go ahead and read the note real quick. It says, hey, SMG Quest, thank you so much for another great trade. Hope you like the extras. Thank you for inspiring me to start collecting Japanese cards too. P.S. Sorry, ran out of top loaders, and no worry. I have run out of top loaders before it happens, but cardboard works just as well. So, so here we go. We've got a little card that he created. Signature card, signed card. Gotta find a place to put these. We traded for a Yvatel EX. Needed that for my collection. That is an awesome card. <clears throat> then we traded for a few uh, reverses from the Wizards of the Coast the Legendary Collections. I am trying to collect the set. If anyone has any, please private message me. I'm looking for them in mint condition or at least near mint, you know, close. You know, I, I understand normal pack flaws and whatnot. We got a Jinx. I can't believe I ever got rid of some of these cards that I had when I started collecting it. But, you know, I'm back into it. I'm going to collect it all. This is probably by far my favorite reverse set of all time. You got Geodude. And then this is Energy, Full Heal Energy. Bam. And then he gave me some extras. Pretty cool. Put those over in my extra pile. So that is from Ampharos. Next up is from a user. I had to write their name down on the back of my little Krista Nanos. Christine Nanos. I don't know how you pronounce your name. I apologize. But we traded for a Wiggly Tuff. I can't believe I didn't pull this, but go figure. Um, I also did not pull an Arbok. Um, and obviously a Crocodile. <laughs> and a Talonflame. But thankfully, I have of subscribers that open boxes just like I do and they pull a ton of great cards so the last two cards I'm sure you saw the one in the back but hopefully for the people who missed it I did get a Blastoise EX I did not pull one of these it seemed a little bit harder um, I will be fixing this in the next um, English set and instead of buying two boxes I'm gonna buy a case so quote me on that I'm gonna buy in a complete case of the new set coming out in English and I got this Ugh. I am so happy I got this card. I think I finally completed my set with this card, so pretty happy you can see me in the background. But Reshi Ram. And the cool thing is actually, uh, you'll see a little bit later. <laughs> but thank you so much, Nanos, for these cards. I really appreciate it. I needed it a lot. Alrighty, I had to write down the name too. This is from Josh Askew. Sorry, I wrote it on the back of your picture, but I could not read you all writing but it says smg quest thanks for the trade sale i can't wait to get the cards i hope i can trade and buy from you again and i hope so too i do plan on getting more stuff in you know on you know an occasion from time to time sometimes it takes a little bit longer than others but uh hopefully i'll be able to get more stuff in in the near future to start selling to people i did trade for a double tail and flame so this one will probably be up for trade I do that for a reason. I've probably explained it a million times, but I'll do it again for all the new subscribers. Um, I do it so I can get the better condition and in case someone backs out or, or you know, it gets damaged on the way, I actually have one. Um, plus, I like to help people out getting their sets complete or the cards that they want. So it doesn't hurt to do that as well, especially when I also get a Venus or EX out of the deal, which I still need. So, bam, very, very sick card right there. Gotta love the new X and Y stuff. Although the only thing I would like is if they did, like I said before, the old school holographic. Alrighty. So that was really exciting. 
but not the most exciting thing that I've gotten. So we'll go ahead and uh, keep going. I actually purchased some stuff from, uh, it's called Paper Moon Online. I'm a, from what one of my friends, Wake Run Collapse said, it's Poly 100's regular site that's not on eBay. And I actually bought some reverses. I'm actually gonna go back to Polly and ask to see if you can find the rest of them. But I ended up buying a Charmander. Minum, I think that's Minum, yep. The Gallade. And I also need a few black and white uh, regular cards. So I ended up getting, I think this is a great ball and a full heel. Um, I needed these two cards to come closer to completing my black and white first edition set. Um, you can obviously check out my sale videos. I really need to complete these two sets, guys. So if you have cards from them, if you think you're never going to be able to complete the reverse set and you want to, you know, help me out, get closer, please, you know, I would love it. I am so close. And if you don't have any cards that I want, I want you to stop, go to Wake Run Collapse's channel, check out his ones. He is so close too. I would love it if one of us were able to complete the reverse set. I've yet to see a complete set. I think it would be freaking crazy feat for anyone on YouTube to be able to do and especially people in the United States. Japan it was probably easy but here not so much so I also purchased some stuff which we'll go over besides that. Um, these two came as extra they will be up in my sale video um, but I did end up purchasing a different card which sadly the guy put it in a very horrible case. He didn't put it in sleeve or anything, but thankfully it's not a holographic. I got a Poketour 1999 Pikachu Yellow Cheek. There is another Pikachu that I'm still needing. I think it was like, it's some type of red cheek um, stamped or something. It's in my ones. It's pretty expensive. It's like 140 bucks usually, but I would definitely trade for it or buy it if it's the right price, but I got this Poketour Pikachu, which is epic. So definitely going to be sleeping that after this. And there's one last thing that I got. And um, I actually went in on this deal with a, another user who does PSA grading. So if you want your cards to get graded, his name is Silver Snorlax 204 Now, I recently saw a video. I completely forgot who made the video. But uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll comment or he'll comment and remember. But he showed us a place to get PSA cards. Uh, sleeve wise these ones from a user in the United Kingdom well I went and talked to Silver Snorlax told him about it he had heard about them too so we contacted the user and we were able to make a deal for a ton of them I forgot how many I got I think it was like a hundred or something maybe 200 we went halves on it just to make it a little bit easier for shipping for us so we got it shipped to him went out outside of eBay so the user can get a little bit more money and we were able to snag a ton of these. Now these are supposed to fit um, the PSA cards very, very nicely. I have yet to try it, but I've seen several other users so far um, who've purchased them and they've all been extremely ecstatic. And I actually just told a few other users um, about these cards. So these are supposed to be a lot thicker, a lot nicer than these normal ones. And I guess they're a little, I would say they're they're a lot nicer from the looks of it. As for thicker, I'm not sure if they're actually thicker than the old ones. I would say they're probably around the same, but just to see, I have us a PSA card. I actually have three. We're gonna try all three of them real quick. Now it's supposed to work perfectly so it doesn't mess up anything. And it's supposed to be snug, which is always great when you're actually trying to showcase and when you're trying to fit it in these things, it's great to have a snug fit and actually, you can tell right now, it is very, very snug. You can see right through it. You're supposed to just be able to pull off the tab and back. And it's supposed to go straight over, bam. And that looks perfect, you can't even tell. Just holding it here, you could not tell unless you looked hard at the bottom that this was in a sleeve. That is awesome. So very epic. That is very, very cool. So definitely if you guys are interested in getting those, um, I can't remember the user I bought them from on eBay. Um, he is a YouTuber, which is kind of crazy. 
um, but I will definitely try to get that in the description, the link, the name, hopefully his account, um, for you guys, if you guys are interested in buying them. Um, they aren't that expensive, to tell you the truth, um, for the quantity. If you're a PSA collector, I mean, they really dirt cheap. And the cool thing is, if you're really wanting to, which I would obviously recommend, if you're not wanting to, you know, get, you know, 500 or however many, you know, the, he has different lots. I think it's like 50, 100, 250, and then like 500, like 1,000 or something. But if you know other friends in the United States and they want to go halves and just like Silver Sorlax and I did, um, definitely I would recommend, you know, going and buying together and just forking over a little bit of extra shipping. These things do not cost that much to ship between each other in the United States. So I would highly recommend picking these up if you want your PSA cards. And I went and got ahead and did three of them just to see, to show you guys that it is extremely consistent. You cannot tell that there is plastic. It is very, very sharp. And the cool thing is the stacking. That is very important to me. And it appears right here that the stacking is very, very perfect. So I am very happy. A lot of the times when you have these bulk ones, they don't stack properly. They'll, they'll fall over or like sway. Now what I would love to see him do, and I am going to call him out on this. Hopefully he watches the video. I'll show him the video or whatnot. But I would, I'm going to call him out and say, I would love for you to make a sleeve for Japanese booster pack and an English booster pack. I think that would be epic because I have a ton of Wizards of the Coast packs and a few Japanese that I would love to put in these types of sleeves. Currently, I just use the normal half or the full sheets to hide them. And when they're stacked together, they fall over. It's really annoying, but I would love to be able to find someone who could make those as well. I would definitely be willing to purchase those or help them sell them. So, bam. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out all the great people who uh, traded with me or purchased from me and gave me a little bit extra cards. And be sure to check out the user. I will have his name in the description and in the title. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the little bit longer video. I had to show you guys that and I hope you guys all stuck around to actually watch it. These will be going to my collection, I've decided. So peace out.